ever nares at Pikachu and there's a down smash there, you get intercepted and you're in the blender. Ooh! Whoa. And uh, a lot of the time you'll miss your tech too, yeah. But hang on, wait. Mango just had a, an up throw that Axe DI'd not at all and missed the, the, missed up, the up air. Air. Yeah, interesting. That is so b both weird for both players. Mango's so. probably taking a note like, all right, I need to time that a little better. Yeah. Uh, up throw up are actually very easy to hit on Pikachu. He's like such a perfect way to do it. Um, and you know, the thing about like edge guarding Pikachu, sometimes it looks so hard, but if you get the right read, like Mango basically held the ledge and then just rolled up, and then he was right in place for a perfect grab. Yeah. Ooh. Mango making quick work right now. He caught Axe missing his tech and just up smashes him. It's so scary to miss a tech against a player like Mango, too. Yeah. Because like top players, they know the spots where it's hard to hit a tech. Like right there, that was a hard tech for Fox to hit. And I'm actually kind of surprised that, uh, you know, Axe wasn't just running at him and trying to trying to cover that. Right, know? usually what happens when you miss those techs is you were trying to tech something else before that, but you got hit again. Yeah. And once you miss one tech, you're not, or once you input a tech and nothing happens, you're not allowed to tech for a little while. Yeah. So uh, there are little setups where you can bait miss techs out, and that's what these, yeah. uh, that's what you're seeing. All right, edge guard opportunity from Axe. Uh, oh, he gets a tail spike, and Mango's yeah. done for. Wow. Uh, weird little setup. Mango got the damage off of it, though. Yeah. You, but you just don't want to get hit by that without your double jump. That's the real thing. Because, like, in that situation, I think it has more or less set knockback, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah and no. so even if Mango was at zero, after getting hit by that tail spike, it looked like he was just not coming back. Yeah. Drill grab, very, very strong, because Drill Shine doesn't lead to much in this matchup. Did you know that um, in this game, heavier characters, based on their weight, actually have slightly more hit stun than lighter ones? I did know that. Which means that for Pikachu, drill grab is a true combo a lot of the time, whereas wow. versus a character like Captain Falcon, it's not. Wow. And so you can drill grab in the up throw up air uh, with relative ease just because Pikachu's weight class. <laughs> Mango did you see just, that standoff? Yeah, he stared him in the eye and said, get up, get up, I'm about to so up smash you. And in that situation, you know, Axe was, the problem with that situation is that he was at the very edge of the stage. So yeah. if you think about it, like if he gets up attacks or regular get up or rolls the other way, he's in the same physical spot. Easy reaction, yeah. So, you know, it was basically a 50-50 guess. Like, you know, actually you're going to roll in towards me or you're going to get up somewhere around where you are. Yeah. And Mango just, just showed, hey, I am not afraid of you at all. Yeah, definitely. So here we are in set two. Mango with a clean, I think, three stock last game? Yeah. Ooh, Ooh but it's but looking this is different. A different game. Oh, my goodness. It actually goes all the way. Please never be under the stage against Axe. Pikachu is yeah. good at edge guarding, but like most importantly, Axe showed us how good he is. Right. Axe has invented all these insane edge guards. I mean, Axe is to Pikachu what like you know like Ken was to Mark or Chudet was to Ice Climbers. Really, he definitely single-handedly took took Pikachu like 10, 10 spots up in the tier list or whatever. I mean, Pikachu was considered low tier, and now I think most people were like, no, he's like mid tier, you know. That was an amazing co little combo. Did you see what he did? So, like, Mango's coming back, and he hit him with the one hit of the up air, the tail spike, uh -huh. that, like, pops him up. Yeah, and, and an unfortunate able to suicide. Mango back off stage. Yeah, so this is working out just a lot better for, yeah. uh, for Axe. And entirely you know what? Think, different game. But you know what? I think that, like, this is an entirely different game, but, like, Axe could have done that at any point last game. It's just about Pikachu getting in and getting his combo started. Right. That's really the hard part. Uh huh. Oh, and he get he catches Mango sweet spot on the ledge, and it's the exact same setup down air to up air, and Mango's a little grimace on his face. Like, I'm eh. actually a little bit surprised that that AZ Axe does not use more back throw because back throw is just so good. Oh yeah. Whoa. Oh, and that's it. Whoa. Three stars and right back. Convincing. Convincing. Mango's uh, Axe has his finger in the air. If you watch either of those games in isolation, you would say, yeah, the. Blank was the better character. The winner, you know, like, if yeah. I showed you the, each of those matches, didn't tell you who the players were, you'd be like, wow, that Pikachu's way better than that Fox. Or, wow, that Fox is way better than that Pikachu. And you know, uh, All right. Las Vegas being so close to AZ, the AZ crowd is out in force. Yeah, we have some insane Axe cheers. That, and it's just, it's the upset, too. Yeah, absolutely. Axe has, Axe has had close sets with Mango uh, a couple times, but he's never beaten him. At Smashers, we almost never cheer for favorite. Whoa! Yeah. That was no, uh, so uh, Axe down smashing at the wrong spot, and Mango just right quick runs up and up smashes. Yeah. That was like the exact percent that where he gets the KO. Yeah, definitely. Ooh, back throw. Back throw for Pikachu, I think it's so good. He yeah. just rolls so far, and you were off stage, and you know, being off stage versus Pikachu, not what you want. Absolutely not, man. Really, really strong edge guard tools. Mango just kind of biding his time, shooting some lasers, you know. All right. Up throw, up smash the thunder. Uh, very guaranteed setup. Yeah. 
putting on it, putting on a good bit of damage. Uh, definitely making sure that you know he, he doesn't get too far behind. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's a man, that was kind of a bad choice on Mango to act immediately after Pikachu nares through his shield. You need to be really cognizant of the fact that Pikachu will immediately after uh, he nares up air a lot of the time, yeah. jump in up air, and if you try to. You know, if you try to do something, you know, preemptive, you're gonna get stuffed. Just yeah. like, just like what actually went for there, but this time Mango shielded. This is kind of adapting. familiar to Luigi setups, you know. Yeah, yeah. Like Luigi will do. He has such quick aerials that he'll do one, and then it'll surprise you how quick the nair comes out afterwards. Yeah, yeah. All right, Axe evening it up stock count wise, but he's gonna need some of those low percent kills he got last game. We've and seen in this. We've seen in this matchup, the percent doesn't matter too no. much. Wow, not crouch canceled, not shielded, nothing. He yeah. just got hit by that dash tag and. That was it. Yeah, dash tag is not a strong tool at zero. I not, think, not uh, either side. and you know, sometimes you're trying to do just like the fastest uh, jump and like nair, and sometimes like you, you know, you just miss a jump button. I know I get dash tags a lot of the time when I'm trying to trying to do stuff like that. Right. So I question whether or not that was an intentional dash A. Yeah. Ooh! Mango just got a beautiful nair, and uh, you know, it looked like he was gonna turn it into an up smash, but. Mango playing, you know, he's playing a lot he's more careful. He's respecting him, honestly. Yeah. He's playing him a little bit like like a baby armada. You know, and the stage choice too, right? With Dreamland, yeah. he is. Uh, he's, he's gonna be he's gonna be further away from the ledge so much more often because it's so much bigger of a stage. Battle, you can fit like two battlefields into this one stage. So like these setups where Axe wants to kill him at the ledge, they're gonna happen less often. Wow, what? he survives! I cannot believe from it. From the top platform too, this will do it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, Axe kind of, you know, bringing it in. Definitely keeping it close. This is not a runaway success like last game. No. But, uh, you know, it definitely looks like uh, Mango taking him very seriously. This is kind of like a respect that I think Axe earned, right? Yeah. Axe has just proven that he's such a good player over these past few months. Yeah. And, like, you know, where previously, you know, you might not, you might see top players sleeping on him a little bit, even after he took that game. Right. It looks like this is, you know, Axe just looks like he, he's holding his own on this stage. Yeah. I don't quite feel like Mango's out of the woods yet, is I guess what I'm saying. Right, Ash yeah. could definitely do this. Yeah. Because we saw that dominating performance. Whoa, the spacing! Ooh. But Mango's baiting out some, you know, the way Mango's playing, though, with the lasers. Uh-oh, oh. that might be it. Whoa, Pikachu surviving. Yeah. But now it's looking a little bit far-fetched. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> wait a minute. That's the name of Pokemon, by that the way. That is the name of Pokemon. That is the name of a duck with a little leak in his mouth. Is that what, it was a leak? So. Whoa! Oh. Crazy combo from Axe going all the way Mango out there. Mango makes it back to the stage, but... Easy edge guard, I think. Wow, Mango uh -oh. went so far. That works. I don't think uh, Axe meant to up air him back towards the stage. No. Uh, rare example of Axe missing the tail spike. Wow. That'll and do it. You know what? Like, oh, Mango does a little celebration. Yeah. I, seriously, I think that Axe has earned so Hey guys, I love Smash Bros. If you love Smash Bros, you should make sure to subscribe to youtube.com slash smashbrosign. It's gonna be your final destination for trailers, gameplay, and analysis of all the latest Smash Bros content. You should subscribe.